Hey, how's it going? My name is Jackie Fish, and welcome back to another Total War Rome 2 Divide et Impera Alexander the Great campaign. We are delving deeper and deeper into Persian uh, territory, getting a pretty nice handle for ourselves. You can see we are really spreading across Asia Minor now, and I think this episode we are definitely ready to push southwards. I played a couple turns off camera just again to kind of push us a little bit further forward, do some boring maintenance and other stuff. Um, and yeah, I think we are ready to move south, start taking these key provinces. I do want to obviously go into Egypt and try and conquer as much of that as possible before we do go over into like you know the eastern parts of the territory so i think that's going to be our main focus alexander himself is probably going to come down and just kind of clean up this border along here i think realistically all we have to do is take this town right here and then the other ones are yeah a lot further south so we can literally just take these two towns which are very close and that should be good enough for us to hold there whilst our other armies kind of move around and take this i also went ahead and took this off camera as well it's just kind of an easy the assault with Ptolemy, so or Parmenion, sorry, and we took the city with, with relatively relative ease, uh, which is nice. That means we basically complete this entire province now, besides this province, which we can move on fairly soon. So, again, as always, guys, if you want to keep on seeing this series, go ahead and drop a like down below. If this video gets 500 likes, you guys go ahead and get another episode. So, that's kind of how I'm running this series, you guys probably know by now. And I thought it could be kind of fun if this video gets a thousand likes. And I know that is a hell of a lot considering we are on episode 10 or whatever. But if this video gets a thousand likes, what I will do is I'll do two episodes in a row. So I'll upload on one day, you guys will have the next episode. And then the following day, you'll have another one no matter what happens on the one before that. So yeah, you guys will get a double upload on two days. If this video gets a thousand likes, if it doesn't and it just gets 500, then you guys will just get the normal schedule upload, you know, when every couple of days but i just thought it'd be kind of a fun incentive if this video did manage to hit that in like i don't know two days then i'll be happy to go ahead and uh yeah do record another one just to go ahead and say thank you because you guys have been absolutely demolishing the like target recently like i'm seeing these mail like on like 5,000 views and then they also have like six seven hundred likes which for me is really really good so i want to go ahead and just say thank you guys so much for that and yeah let's see if we can hit a thousand likes i think it'd be hilarious that on a uh, episode 10 or 11 let's play part we have you know a thousand likes which is probably more than the first episode on this series i just think that could be kind of fun so we are mainly doing maintenance stuff uh for the most part on our regions we really need to try and get these regions to become happy and to uh to stop rebelling basically and that's just going to come in time we are slowly culture conversion you can see that the uh hellenic culture is almost up there um and beating back the persian one over here we're very very close to becoming hellenic and as soon as we do start becoming hellenic things will become a lot easier uh then the public order will go up meaning we'll get rid of this huge debuff minus eight percent tax rate which is just disgusting that'll flip to a 16 positive because it'll be plus eight so you won't be getting the negative of minus eight and then you'll be getting a positive as well so you know tax rate will start to go up you can also see that phrase is pretty decent right now we've basically got this province to a, a very good place it's making us 11 grand which if i was to untax all my other regions which let's just do it for fun We'll literally untax everything uh, just really quickly. We'll still be making a very good profit in our army. And I think we're also on lowest taxes as well, which is actually, yeah, it's not something I thought about. We're making 11 grand on low taxes in that province. So yeah, Frace, we'd still be, we'd be not making food, but we'd still be making four grand. I mean, if we were to do that the province makes us 15k and we make eight grand on highest taxes it makes us 18k that's literally like we'd be making 11k every single turn with four armies like we got we got basically five six armies up and Frace is literally supporting the entire empire that's some of the awesome stuff you can do in divided impera but we are like 80 turns into the campaign and we have spent a lot of resources a lot of effort on characters we know a lot of our resources are committed to this region so it does make sense but anyway let's get back on to to normal taxes and let's uh tax back some of our important settlements because we need the food pretty desperately right now so let's uh quickly just tax these back make a little bit more money as well um i think hellas was a nice one we needed to tax what city was also making us a lot of money was it armenia there's a region out here that i want to tax because we need the food i think it was armenia yeah armenia and then it was one of these i think i guess it's one of the ones that actually like me 
boom there we go i think that's what we needed to do and these are just kind of not uh not yeah not producing me anything because i'm just trying to boost the happiness in the regions uh as, as best as i can Macedon is also a little bit unhappy, but luckily in three turns time, the Odium will be built, so that's great. Yeah, but just at the moment, the majority of our problems does come from our food situation. But the thing is as well, a lot of the food places we're just not taxing, so uh, to try and boost happiness. But the happiness should be sorted anyway. Sorry, that was like a super long intro of us not really doing much. But let's move. Is Alexander replenished yet? Uh, no, Ptolemy's army is really beaten up. Um, and Alexander's, ar Alexander's army is actually good to go. Let's move down. Let's get out of uh, patrol mode. Uh, oh, we can't move down quite yet. But next turn, we can move down and we'll, we'll hit that. So we might as well go back into patrol then. We also have another technology to do. Uh, we recently just got this one, which is a great legal institution. It's actually a really useful technology. Um, and I definitely think this is once you get your research rate up, which mine is at 200% now, it's really important to get this because this gives you basically everything you need. Loyalty to stop civil wars, gives you tax rate, gives you public order and empire maintenance. And our empire maintenance is just disgusting right now like it's actually like it's 64 percent i didn't realize it got so high but it's because we've expanded so quickly i haven't had the opportunity to try and really get it down normally you can get this down if you're really paying attention to it by you know choosing the right bonuses buildings and technology and stuff you can generally get this down to like 30 percent which again makes you earn so much more money uh, the empire maintenance literally is probably taking like six seven grand a turn from Frace, maybe eh, maybe not that much actually probably more yeah probably close to like six seven grand from Frace on lowest taxes it's, it's just wild it's really important to bring that one down and now we actually have a, a small opportunity so we could get culture conversion for six turns which honestly is not bad because the extra two culture conversion will really help. It also gives us access to another library building as well. And I'm going to start building a few libraries just scattered around. You can see I've got one going in uh, in Athens, which is useful. Athens isn't really a money maker for me, even though it is a very rich city. Um, you know, I don't really want to really push commerce here. So I think just getting a library here is, is fine because it also helps reduce empire maintenance a little bit. And that extra bit of research speed is quite nice. Um, so yeah, I think our armies are basically ready to go if we patrol with this army. Uh, really quickly that should make this region pretty happy and if i was to bring this army out of the city that would make the army very happy it's just i'm a little bit nervous because i know there are persian armies roaming around but i guess we'll just risk it and we'll just just try and get a good turn because that's 18 happiness right there um which is juicy so yeah we just need to get these cities happy more than anything else uh so let's just end the turn move forward and uh see what else we can get annoyingly the armenians had i guess this army still left sticking around and oh, it's not even the armenians there's a bactriani uh had an army lying around and they just went ahead and took the garrison which was super annoying uh meaning i'm actually gonna have to backtrack an army luckily this army is hopefully within range just to hit them i was thinking about yeah there we go perfect so it's kind of annoying they took the city it's gonna destroy a few buildings and stuff but i guess it's not that bad we can move in and take it and that basically this i think this was the last army i was just leaving back because i didn't rule aggressive nice let's do that i was mainly just leaving this army alone because it was like ah it's not really gonna do much but uh it did take the garrison i did fight a battle against them off camera as well and they still managed to uh yeah come back and i just couldn't be bothered to fight another one so i thought ah screw it we'll just move in and take it and it's a fairly easy victory right there yeah the oh my god they actually destroyed it we had just built this and they destroyed it oh my god that is so annoying that really is um so at least this army can replenish though it can't go into patrol stance which is fine um and it's great to see a lot of my other regions are coming online um and becoming a lot happier because this will really help boost the happiness in this selection especially once we move in and take uh for Pacios. Uh, I did see a Persian army though. Yeah, there you go. You're starting to actually see Persian armies come in against me now. And a lot of them are re-recruiting and stuff. So we're going to have to pay somewhat attention. Alexander can move up. So we will go ahead and do that. Yep, should be fairly easy. Oh, this is a pretty good province as well. Not a bad garrison, honestly. These are like Persian spearmen are actually half decent. What's our percentage? Yeah, ain't no, but no way I'm uh, I'm taking that. So let's go and dive in. So also, uh, uh, I've been getting a bunch of comments asking me. Oh, they sat it out. Fools of a took. Um, yeah, I've been getting a handful of comments of people saying, Jackie, stop cutting it. Stop, you know, just play the straight up normal video. Just uncut it. Don't do all these little things jumping around. And I do understand where you guys are coming from. It is more of a traditional let's play. However, 
I think the average person would not enjoy that. And even if you think that you would, I imagine after 20 episodes or so, you would probably miss an episode and stop watching. It's just kind of how things happen. Um, even if you don't think it will, you know, sometimes you just end up missing an episode I and mean, then you miss another one and another one and it kind of just goes from there. So I think the best way to make this as enjoyable as possible for as many people to enjoy it um, is the best just to go ahead and cut it up like I'm doing. I am going to be trying to add in more of the battle stuff because I feel that maybe I could uncut a lot of the battles and kind of do more maintenance on the campaign map. I think that's kind of fine off camera. But I, I do think, you know, the way I'm doing it is better for the majority of people um, who are watching this series. Because, yeah, some because you know, again, like, I record these episodes. Um, I record about two hours and sometimes longer than two hours worth of footage. And then I cut it down, you know. So, for example, you, we would be halfway back in this campaign right now if it was the case because my upload schedule would still be the same so if this was to be you know not cut up like it is in, in this episode we'd be back you know still trying to fight over asia minor and i think a lot of people wouldn't like that you know they like to see progress they like to see stuff happening so yeah I, i'm i'm content with the way i'm doing it i will try and add in more battle stuff and uh try and keep that kind of more you know in the in the episodes but for the most part i'm very content with the way i'm doing it and um, I think that's just how Let's Plays will run. I have thought about maybe doing a Patreon for campaigns in the future where you guys get to like name characters and do stuff. Um, and, and like you guys get to vote on a, a campaign we do once every month. Um, and then that way it can be a lot less uncut. But I don't know if I'm going to kind of follow through with that or what. Um, so I don't know, give me an idea, let me know if that's something you guys would be interested with, because I feel like if the Patreon was there, then maybe I would be a lot more inclined to, you know, do less uncut stuff, but I think for now, this is just how we are doing it. So let's push on them, they have a pretty nice setup, but again, this is just a garrison, so we should rip them apart. I do really like the look of the Persian army, though. They look, uh, yeah, they look, uh, look the part for sure. So I guess, guess we need to quickly double time into position because they've actually come down at me and they're going to be hitting me with missiles. Let's go ahead and press uh, our pike phalanx formation. Um, someone did like, uh, someone, cause someone told me that, uh, the, you don't, you shouldn't be forming pike wall because you actually take more damage from missiles, which isn't true. Uh, the, uh, the stats st do apply to your units and it makes it so that they don't take as much damage because you get like a bonus of being in phalanx. Also historically as well, someone again pointed out in the comments that the phalanx was designed to repel missiles as the arrows came in they would kind of ricochet off the 45 degree uh you know missiles so it's actually a really effective way of uh of hitting them and preventing missiles from doing a lot of damage to your phalanx unit so that's kind of like again another reason why the phalanx was so widely used but let's quickly push up on them i think i don't really want to sit here and take them obviously my missiles would dominate in this battle but we don't really need to rely on the missiles whatsoever we can just we can just attack them and uh, it'll be as a, it'll be just super effective i also want you guys not to chase them either i am surprised though i mean we have decimated like one unit um, but yeah, just keep on hitting them. I want to keep on pushing them and uh, attacking. I guess as well, our cavalry, our lancers can actually move in as well. They're pretty vulnerable right now, so let's move in and see if we can get a nice little charge on them. They're probably going to get out of here, but I think we might hit them. Yeah, there she go. We're going so deep right now. So deep. This is not worth it. This is an Alexander charge for sure. I'm hoping that will actually push up their, their lines as well. Let's first fall back now a little bit. Silver Shield's moving up. Looking great. Our missiles actually probably should have been chasing. But it's fine. We've got some missiles over here as well. Bring out our cavalry. Let get the cavalry out. Let you guys engage there. Most of their missiles are actually already dead. So we don't have to worry too much there. And then missiles move in as well. Nice. They're clashing into some of my men now. The pikes should be moving in here. And then you guys will be able to wrap around. Cavalry can come in now. Even though the cavalry has all, the archers have already won that battle. Perfect. Yeah, this should be a pretty clean battle, to be honest. I can't really... Yeah, it's, I mean, it's just a bloody garrison against Alexander the Great. Stands no chance. Have you guys coming in as well. Um, and we can even push up, push up. I mean, look how many bonuses Alexander has as well now. He has improved second wind, so our men basically just get their energy back. A war cry. Look at his aura as well. If I hover over him, look how big his aura is. It's that blue, uh, blue kind of circle around him. It's insane. 
absolutely insane. Uh, let's move in here and finish this off really quickly. So Pikes move in there. You guys move around there. Spearmen come in. You guys, yeah, I mean, that's for battle, right? We'll pop off nice, like a nice little inspire on the men. Maybe come around here with Alexander. We'll get a nice little wedge charge there, I think. Okay, the surround is basically set up. We're breaking them. The Silver Shield's done an amazing job here with the support of the cavalry. We've got Pike set up here as well now, which can slowly move in. I love the really dense blocks of pikemen as well. It's so awesome seeing them moving up and, uh, yeah, attacking the enemy. And then we have Alexander in his wedge formation. Going to go kill the captain of the guard. And we'll probably just pop, like, a war cry or something as we charge in. Alexander leading the column. Look at that. Awesome. Into their backs. We'll drop a war cry on them. Um, try and break them around. We'll pop a rally and inspire on our men. The pikemen, oh my god, they are just a cluster of phalanxes of there. Oh, they've actually still got a decent amount of men over on this side. I mean, not for much longer, right? We'll move in and finish this bad boy off. Cavalry charge is coming in. Alexander has broken the enemy general, and I think that's going to be battle right there. Luckily, we didn't need to chase them down in that battle because it was just a garrison. So no matter what happens, however many of them survive, we just claim victory right there. And we will just occupy the city. You know, we are bringing liberation to the people. Uh, so that's a level three city. That's quite expensive, though, but it is a good one. You know, these 60 extra talons, 10 lead. It's really useful to have these like higher level cities. And this will be a good region because I think it has multiple. Yeah, it has more iron or silver down there. The that had that doesn't have anything, but yeah, this will be a good region to make me some good money. So we'll just move in and take it. Obviously, culture conversion is very important uh, early on. So we'll probably destroy this, build a temple here, and we'll probably bring this down because it's already giving me public order, and we'll rebuild it up. I mean, it's not like we don't have the money. We we've got 37k in the bank, which is perfect uh, for us. So that's nice. That's another little push forward right there. I guess we could. Get a harbour here as well, because this will be a half-decent region. It doesn't really have any resources, but having a harbour here probably wouldn't be bad. Just a little bit more money from this region. I think that's fine. We'll just go and grab that up. Um, and there's just a few other regions we really need to, like, just make happy. It's surprising as well, because we're on, we are on the lowest taxes. So we're getting, what, like, minus seven less public order issues, or minus six. And we're still having a few issues here and there, which is a little bit annoying, but... You kind of just have to roll with it. Obviously, we are conquering fairly quickly. So, it's kind of the, uh, the negative that kind of is associated with that. So, this army can not go in patrol, which is fine. Oh, yeah, because it just took that. You're in patrol. So, patrol is a great thing to use. If you guys don't know, and you're just like, oh, what are you talking about, Jackie? There is an army stance right here that really helps out. It goes ahead and, and reduces your cost of your army by 5%, which with a full stack actually does add up. Gives you more replenishment. It goes ahead and makes the army really bad. You should never do this if you're about to fight because you basically get ambushed if you get attacked in this stance. Um, but you also get some public order and a little bit of money from the building as well. So it's really important to grab this up. If you are uh, if you are looking to uh, yeah do any of them things and it's just a great way to kind of make regions a little bit happier uh, Especially after you just conquered them luckily this region is actually super happy already, which is perfect How are we looking at public order? So Hellenic is rising up. Well one does gives us the most conv culture conversion Probably going to be Zeus right yeah Zeus gives us the most I believe and this is second but this gives us some good public order as well and sanitation. Actually, it all gives us sanitation. I mean, Hermes wouldn't be bad, honestly, because this is a pretty good region. It has gold in it, so I guess eventually, again, I wouldn't mind having this give us a little bit more. But let's just go and pick up the, the Temple of Zeus. Uh, it seems to be, like, our best one. Um, and I guess upgrading this would also be good. Maybe something like just lead. Yeah, maybe just maybe just the, the mint. It will be good as well. So, perfect. Uh, looking at our trade as well, if anyone's interested. We are making 10 grand from trade, which is disgusting. We've got a lot of partners, don't get me wrong. But we're also making a lot of money from a lot of people. I think our best trade partner is Carthage. Yeah, Carthage is our best trade partner. We're giving them a ton of goods. Um, and then also the Carti, Cartil, which are, uh, if I'm not mistaken... This faction, yeah, we're also, so Carthage and this faction are giving us the most money, which is pretty awesome. Also, looking at Rome, Rome's uh, not doing too good at all. Massali is expanding quite nicely. So, is there anyone else we can actually trade with? Not that we really have to pay attention to it, because we're making so much money, but... There's a lot of people who just don't like us, but maybe they'd be willing to trade. Uh, 
league. No, actually. that's why I'm really looking forward to Troy as well. But diplomacy in Troy will be great. Uh, regardless, I'm pretty like mer about everything else. But having diplomacy updated into a a total war is great. Uh, we also have someone leveling up as well, right? Uh, and, oh, nice, another governor. Oh, this governor's the one in uh, in this region as well, which is perfect, actually. Uh, we can reduce empire maintenance, which is nice. I mean, I guess go down this route, probably. Actually, no, because we can get more empire maintenance there as well, yeah. She's going to be my empire maintenance gal, a person who just reduces everything, um, which, is, which is really important because, as we said, we do have a pretty high empire maintenance, and we want to try and reduce that down. I'll get there eventually. There we go. Um, so the higher we can we can reduce that, the better, because it's at 67%. Okay, I guess we're just taking more and more cities, right? Yeah, that's uh, that's that's insane how high that is. That is far too high. I need to do some more stuff about that. I need to maybe build more libraries. I don't know building-wise, what's the best building to get it down? I assume it is, because max library reduces it by 1.5. That's like nothing. I guess it's just, you know, more characters. But we're maxed out, right, on, on everything. I guess I just need more... What are we maxed out? Yeah, we have the most spies, most fleets. We can do another edict. We do. That's how hilarious it is as well, is we still don't have another edict. And obviously, when we go up to here, we get another 10%. Oh, my God. Empire maintenance. I mean, it's not really affecting us because we're so rich, but, yeah, it's a, it's a beast to, to be sure. Ooh, very nice. So, the next turn, one of our main generals, the governor of our main region in Frace has now leveled up. So we can go ahead and get this extra research rate, extra empire maintenance. And you can actually notice as well the percentage of our money going up as well. I'll actually show you guys. Uh, it does you know, kind of really add up. You can see we made like an extra like 100 gold from that um, just in Frace I and mean, all the other regions as well really help out. We're also getting 12% research rate, which again is just huge. We've got a 215%. Um, and it's just massive. You know, you can get this tech right here for 10 turns, you know. That's not bad for another minus 5 empire maintenance. This one also is really good minus 8. Uh, these are definitely, obviously, if you complete this entire selection as well, you get another minus 3. So the philosophy tab is definitely an important one as you get to the mid to late game for sure we are actually losing a bit of uh, food uh, so we can we can probably do is make one of these regions which are close to being happy um giving us some stuff oh yeah we should probably untax this as well uh for sure so i think i definitely want that and i definitely want that out here and we'll obviously untax it as well um which actually sorts out our food problem as well which is perfect um so yeah for now we could also march down south um and siege this out as well but i don't want to like completely overextend but that wouldn't be awful to do that. Like, taking this would actually be pretty nice. Oh, that's a big-ass garrison as well. 70%. We'll probably fight this one as well. Let's leave that for the end of the turn, though. Just, well, yeah, we'll probably fight that, but we'll leave it for now. This army is still not replenishing. I probably need, do need to move it back uh, to another city. Like, this has been a lot Greek for a lot, a lot longer. Oh, and we're, we're nowhere near uh, Greek yet, but we're converting very quickly, right? Um, oh yeah, also these do give Empire Maintenance as well, I believe. I believe one of these sections here also gives a reduction in it. It's level 3 on both of them. Yeah, level 3 on both of them gives a small percent. And again, it adds up over, you know, all of these provinces. So I'll probably give the one that gives us, yeah, we'll probably give a fountain. And then maybe another library. Again, I'm, I'm guessing it more for a research than anything else. But we could also get an amphitheater. Like, as we said, they're really good for just keeping happiness. Culture convert Not culture conversion, but population growth and stuff. Because eventually we're going to want to have to, like, have... We don't want to have to be constantly keep going back to Greece to recruit. Like, these are going to be our recruitment centers at some point. Also, a supply pit's honestly not that bad. Giving you uh, more money from agriculture and stuff. And we do have a lot of agricultural buildings here. So, it's, again, it's not like getting a grain market would also be good because it gives you so much more money. Actually, then if we're going to get a grain market, we should probably get the, the meadows, right? Because they give you the most money from agriculture. Hmm, that could be pretty interesting, actually. Let's, let's see, because I never really experimented much with that. Let's do that. Um, let's go, boom. Let's change this to a, a meadow. So, that gives us more money. It also does improve our cavalry as well. And let's, let's see if we can make, like, a really good, like economically food province because it's not something i've ever really done so it'd be interesting it will really be interesting to try that out and we'll, we can when we do finally take this we can stick the uh, export food edict on as well which is one of these right 
You export food to give you more money from farming and livestock. Let's 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 test that out because again, as I said, it's not really something I've ever really done. Uh, this army can probably make its way like back up here, maybe to a region that's been in the empire a little bit longer. So it's uh be making us a little bit more money. It does leave this province pretty vulnerable, but I'm hoping it'll be fine. Um, yeah, I'm hoping it'll be okay, even though the garrison is pretty shot. But I haven't seen too many of their armies around here for a little while. Um, I also did notice that their fleet has moved out as well. Um, though I think we would beat it. We've got some of our own fleets kind of scattered around, which is fine. What I might actually do as well is I might move this fleet. Mm, we might get here. I might actually build a couple. Yeah, I might pick up some mercenaries. I mean, we might as well pick up some mercenaries and go and kill that. We have so much money, but it's fine. Um, so let's, let's get a, a small fleet, upgrade it. We'll go and kill this Persian fleet. I think we'll have enough if we bring in these guys as well. Oh, that's, that's awesome. I love it when you, like, you have like multiple ships moving in at the same time. That looks so cool. That looks really cool. Um, so we'll go in and we'll sink this Persian fleet really quickly. I mean, I'll stick... like. I mean, to be fair, if with this being done the way it is now, we might not necessarily need to leave a, a fleet over here and we can actually move them elsewhere to, to more important areas. It's also really good fighting naval battles as well because units level up, right? Units level up and uh, armies level up as well. So what I think I wanted to do was I wanted to move this fleet into the, into this province because, as you can see, he has a, a fair amount of bonuses to tax and empire maintenance and stuff. So um, if I level up to level 3, it doesn't really give me much, right? More f Oh, this would be a good one as well. This gives me more money from agriculture. So let's do that. Let's do that. Um, I mean, I guess we could also go down this route as well to reduce um, stuff. But let's do that. Uh, so he'll give me a good bonus from agriculture. And then let's stick him in this region. And as I said, we'll just we'll really go for it. And then you are just a normal guy, right? I should, I should also go through this. If some, some, oh my god. I oh know, sorry. That's the wrong thing right there. I was like, wow, that guy's amazing. One of the things that always confuses me is I feel like whenever I click these, it takes it away from someone else. Um, I guess you can have that as well. Because you're just a nobody, right? And you can go into into there, I guess. Actually, you'd probably be better up there because we're still converting up here, right? Yeah, we're still very much converting. So you go up there. This is already Greek. Yeah, as I said, like I always feel like it takes it away from someone else. I'm not sure if that's always the case, but I just like for some reason it just always sticks in my mind that it takes it away. Do we have an agricultural guy? I don't think so. Public order and stuff. But maybe it doesn't. Maybe it doesn't. Because sometimes it does take it away. Ooh, that's gross to have that on anyone. I should really check all my governors to make sure that they don't have, like, dumbass traits on. Because some people can be really, really weird. These are all just military ones, right? Yeah. Okay, cool. Well, I'm going to go and do that. I'm going to check all my governors and update their traits and stuff. Just to double check that everyone's got good stuff on them. Uh, and then we'll be back with another turn. Okay, now let's do this battle really quickly. Um, we are taking attrition, obviously, because we are, you know, pushing in. But we'll just move into the city. I'll fight it. Let's have another battle. These are kind of not the most exciting ones. But this is 3,000 men. Are they going to come out and meet me? No, they're going to stick in the city. But, oh, this is a good city. Um, because you can stick archers all up on this ridgeline and just pepper them. Um, so that's exactly what we're going to do. This is also the battlefield where I demolished Darren in our head-to-head -head on our previous campaign with a horse archer army. It was disgusting. I feel dirty doing it, but hey, you know, all's fair in love and war. It was a it was a hell of a battle, and uh, yeah, it was uh, definitely worth checking out. And if you guys didn't know, uh, me and Darren are starting a brand new head-to-head -head every Wednesday at 4 p.m. BST. Um, check out my Discord and my Twitter and stuff. It, all, all the details will be there, but definitely check them out. They are some of the most fun I've ever had playing Total War, um, and this one's going to obviously be no different. We're going to be playing as Barbarian Tribes. He's playing as a German one. I am playing as a, uh, a Spanish one. He's picked the faction, so hopefully they'll all be fun and balanced, and uh, yeah, it should be a really good campaign. Oh god, they came out at me. I was not expecting this. I was on triple speed letting my units move up, but all of a sudden they've just come flying at me. Okay, quickly form up your Testudo. I mean, luckily we have the Silver Shields here. Uh, you know, if any unit here was to, to fight, it would obviously be the Silver Shields. Um, okay, well, we need to quickly turn all of these missiles around then. Alexander needs to get here and uh, maybe pop a nice little Inspire on the men. Get these guys to come around the side. We've got some cavalry in the village, which is good. 
Um, yeah, we need to start just pushing on them. I mean, these units should get wiped away by the Silver Shields. They're Silver Shields with Silver XP. These are veteran infantry units, so they should, yeah, not really have to worry too much about these guys at all. They should make quick work of them, I think. If there's a missiles coming in, it's going to be pretty painful. They are peppering Alexander as well. Okay, missiles now come around. Give them hell, boys. Just move up there. Um, I think I just mainly need to move, like, the archers. Slingers can already shoot, which is good. The slingers should dominate this area as well. And then we'll have, like, you guys coming through the gaps as well. They actually have a, a fair amount of units here. Okay, just skirmish them then. Uh, everyone go on skirmish mode. Yeah, everyone go on skirmish mode and just harass them. Um, yeah, and bring down their, their HP a little bit. Oh my god, they are really out here for Alexander, right? Oh, they're shooting these guys as well. Alexander's falling back a little bit. I mean, you guys should be able to dominate that. I mean, I guess you just push in. Oh, the archer volley. The Creed and archer's coming in as well. Yeah, look at the casualties. That's awesome. I kind of almost don't want to chase them, right? Because I want the archers and stuff to kill them. I mean, everything else is uh, quick work. And yeah, the, uh, the cavalry is harassing quite nicely. Frank, their javelins doing their job. Bringing down uh, yeah, a decent amount of this infantry as well. So it's just a, basically a slog fest right now. And the archers are slaughtering everything they see in their path, which is exactly what we want. The slingers are now in a great position to hammer away at these spearmen down here. They basically have, you know, the perfect shot. This unit doesn't seem like it's in range. Maybe it just needs to turn a little bit, and hopefully it will be. Um, but yeah, we'll basically just be using our slingers to hit these guys. I think the AI is room two, ladies and gentlemen. After, after 25 patches, this is still what happens in the game. My god. Our archers are also shooting this as well, which is fine. Uh, I don't want them dead because my silver shields are taking a bit of fire. Just want the archers to finish off their remaining archers. I think this is their last unit here as well. And you can see every volley they lose a lot of men. So uh, I just want the silver shields to move up and kind of clear out the, the remnants of this area. With the archer fire and let the slingers do their work as well. Cavalry doesn't really need it. Can I just take the capture flag as well? Are they going to stop me? It'll be interesting to see if they actually will. And here they go. I'm going to come into my silver shields. With their, their cavalry, but again, we're in, we're in phalanx, so this cavalry is going to, yeah, not have a chance. McCreed and Archers should be able to shoot everything else as well. You guys should just be in reserve, and then we'll bring up the rest of the Silver Shields. Yeah, bring up the rest of the Silver Shields. So you guys, and you guys, yeah, you guys can just, like, form up, like, here. Something like that would be perfect. Uh, the Archers can also change focus to start shooting. I don't know, something in the back will be fine. And yeah, we are capturing the flag. This is a minor settlement, though, so it doesn't actually affect the... You guys just can't shoot them. Go there. Um, yeah, it doesn't actually affect us winning the battle. There won't be a timer because it's a minor city. Uh, it'll just give us a bit of a morale bonus and take away their morale bonus, which is nice. Silver Shields are in heavy fighting, but definitely proving their worth this day. God damn it. I hate it that it moves me whenever I press F12. I should really just change the Steam key binding. But then it kind of feels a bit weird. But either way, I mean, you can see the Silver Shields are more than capable of you know, dealing with these Persians. Even off in the corner, they're moving in. They have kind of outflanked me a little bit, but then they've you know, swiftly met more Silver Shields. So ain't like it's going to be a problem. We've also got the Cruising Archers as well shooting overhead. Uh, this poor unit has actually fully broken now. It's hilarious due to all the Rodian Slingers. Um, and now we should just be able to bring cavalry around and finish this one up. Um, but I mean, overall, this it was going to be a, an easy battle. But we barely lost like any men, though. It's mainly just been missile fire, and um, yeah, it's mainly just been missile fire and archers just going in and causing. Let's go ahead and refresh all of our men, um, or at least them men. And we'll drop a war cry on them uh, to help out with archer fire. We could even change the fire arrows as well. I don't think we'll need to. Uh, so let's get the crude archers to hold fire. Uh, that should be enough. We'll get the infantry to push forward. And with the cavalry, that should just see the end of the battle. Yep, as you can see, we lost 55 men. Like, that was a, that was a clean battle. We just funneled them into our silver shields. And there's not much, much you can really do. They could even try and shoot me, but I have missile superiority. I mean, it's, it's a garrison. You can't really expect them to do anything against, you know, Alexander and his elite army. I'm hoping, though, that this will be enough to actually level Alexander up and make him level 10. And then he'll be his max level. I think also the army... He's almost level 7 as well, so he's getting some serious bonuses. I'm not sure if this will be exactly enough to level him up, but 
it's very close to him being max rank. I mean, I think he gets his last three set of skill points. No, oh, he must be so close though. Yeah, look at that. He is really close to the army and himself. And then we can probably just make it so that we get this up. And I, I, I guess we'll get the um, extra replenishment on his army. So he just replenishes like max right away. Um, but once again, this is a really nice settlement to have. Um, it wouldn't actually be that bad to, to make it. I'm actually going to destroy this though. Because this is only a normal one. And I don't want to take the food here. So we'll just rebuild this city up from the ground up. Um, Alexander, I guess. Oh, he can't go and patrol. But, you know, again, we're, we're expanding the borders very nicely. We're slowly starting to wrap around. And who are you? Can we trade with you? Um, or are we already trading with you? Because I don't think I, I discovered you before. Oh, you don't like me. You don't like me, but you'll trade with me. For enough coin, you will trade with me. Um, they also really like this faction as well. I, I obviously do not want them to declare war on me because... Uh, oh, yeah, I'm just giving that much. I mean, what is money nowadays? We're giving 420 just because why not? Um, yeah, this faction I really want to try and befriend. So the more stuff I get, the better. Uh, we are trading with them, which is nice. But yeah, if they were to come and attack me, that would just ruin everything. So we want to avoid that as, as best as, as physically possible. Um, and the good thing is a lot of these regions out here are becoming happier. Slowly but surely, you know, we're getting the happiness up uh, bit by bit. And especially once we get this tech as well in four turns, it'll give us research. Uh, it'll give us, sorry, culture conversion again, just to help out um, and, you know, slowly start to tip these into our Greek favors, which is exactly what we want. Um, generate from slaves. Well, that's kind of good, a slow, uh, slave quarry. But we don't really have many slaves here, so let's just go and get the, uh, the mine. Sure, let's do that. Wait, is this, oh, this, is, no, this isn't Frace. This is Frace. Uh, we could go up this. I guess why not, right? There's no reason not to, to, to boost this up to, to max rank. Also gives us a small garrison. The garrison's pretty useful. But yeah, let's just do that. Because again, it gives us a lot of money um, through it. So we want to kind of focus on that as much as possible. Is Macedon... Uh, this is done in a turn. And I should sort out all the, all the public order issues we have here. Once, uh, once this Odeon is built... I can't believe we have so many public order issues, honestly, though. It's not like I really have any high-level buildings here besides the, the capital, and that's about it. Are we replenishing here yet at all? No, we're not. I might take my uh, turn across the border as well, try and replenish in this city really quickly. Uh, no, literally nowhere we'll replenish. Okay, that's fine. You go back just to make sure you safeguard the city. Um, it will take time, obviously. It will take time. It will take culture conversion, but soon enough we should have a pretty good, uh, a pretty good uh, economy going and a good like kind of surplus of units where we can just reinforce it and pump them out. There is a good way as well. If you do want to, what you can do is you can recruit and disband units to help move population across. It's kind of expensive, but it's a very effective way of doing it. I can't really be bothered to do it in this campaign just because, you know, we don't, we don't need it. Like, it'd be nice, but I'm not going to go to that much length. You know, maybe if it's a head-to-head, -head, I'll take it that seriously. Um, but even then, I'm kind of like, ah, ah. It'd be nice if maybe, like, because supply wagons are only a certain class. It'd be nice if you could get, like, a supply wagon of each class, maybe. Um, called just, like, a migrant caravan or something. That could be kind of a cool unit, a cool way of doing it. But, I mean, for now, it's, it's fine. I think it is for short time to start at least pushing down south with our armies. We have a handful up here, so we obviously have uh, Parmenion, who can probably start to dive a little bit deeper in. The question is, do I want to try and take these, or do I want to just go down the coastline? And I think just moving to Tyros would be very nice. We're not going to have some massive siege. Um, we're just going to move in, and I'll probably siege them just for a turn or two. And I guess we could also move this fleet in as well to hit them, even though they might sally out with the fleet. Um, what do we want to do? Probably... Yeah, probably pick up some mercenaries with this fleet, um, like we had before, but I deleted them. Probably something like that, and then just move them into Siege Tyros as well. Uh, obviously, historically, Tyros was on, like, some massive island, and it was, yeah, pretty brutal. I'll probably just Siege them for a turn or two, because they should take attrition, I believe. Um, and if any armies come and, and attack, then that's fine as well. So we'll just Siege them for a couple turns, and, uh, yeah, try and weaken the garrison uh, and push on. Because obviously, historically, Tyros is like a, a city and Alexander built a land bridge to, to move across with his siege equipment. One of his, uh, yeah, definitely more memorable battles for sure. Um, so let's do that. And then we also have this army that we've been bringing up for ages. Arabas, uh, who was currently in Perp. Uh, he was over here. And now we're going to move him up here to kind of take over the, the watchful eye. Um, and then this army is probably going to come in as well and kind of keep control of this. So then this army can probably move around, maybe try and take Damascus or 
Yeah, I don't really know what else to do. I could move him into Tyros just to take it quickly with two armies, but I probably will move up to take this province. Uh, yeah, let's do that. Let's move up and we'll take that. Um, Alexander has a few interesting battles to behold over here. Uh, we also obviously have Ptolemy as well. Um, so I might switch Ptolemy over to this region because we're about to have a rebellion over here. So I might move Ptolemy over here and then I might move Alexander onto the border and then have Alexander come and fight these Persian armies. I think that'll be a good setup because there's a handful of Persian armies around here which I definitely do want to try and take out. So I think that's what we'll do there. Our spy is just kind of discovering more cities. I know there is a, yeah, a city down here. Um, but that's not really a lot of stuff we have to worry about, right? Because Alexander never took any of Saudi Arabia, Saudi Arabia, any of the Middle East down here, really. Um, yeah, he, he never really went down to the Arabian lands whatsoever. Uh, I think he took like this, like it basically cuts off here. I mean, obviously all of this as well. So we will probably ignore that. We might go and take it. But yeah, obviously conquering Egypt will be an important task. Um, and we are very close to the next Imperium level as well. Not that long. So we need to keep obviously prepared for that as well. Unfortunately, no more generals have leveled up. I'm really just waiting for more generals to level up so that I can uh, get less Empire maintenance, honestly. The nice thing is, though, we are a couple turns off. And look how happy our regions are. Even these unhappy regions are very close to becoming happy, especially this one. Like, in a couple turns, they'll all be pretty happy. It's just this one, which is obviously recently conquest. Uh, that It's not happy, but... Yeah, soon we're going to have a very, very good empire. The extra culture conversion in a turn will be very useful. And then it's kind of a decision. Do we go after this, which isn't that important, but is also okay? Or do we go and try and grab the minus 5% um, extra public order? Probably this, I think. Oh, baby, we have a battle. So the Persians have come through with a smallish army, but some really good cavalry um, and the garrison. They're going to try and sally out and attack me. But again, I don't think this is going to be that exciting battle because I think all that's going to happen is their reinforcements are going to come on behind me. I'm going to surround and slaughter them, and then we can turn and face the main army. But either way, uh, at least we've got a proper battle. I feel like we've been fighting a lot of garrisons recently, so... Uh, at least we get to fight this. And also, next episode as well, Alexander will be engaging that full stack Persian army. So we'll at least have that battle to look forward to as well. And obviously the Egyptians. The Egyptians have hopefully been building up armies for the past, you know, 70 turns. So we haven't seen them. So I'm, I'm hoping we'll, that we'll engage them and have some good battles down in Egypt. I also hope that there's a script running that means that I just conquer the whole of Egypt and then I can focus elsewhere, but I don't think that's going to happen. So I feel like their reinforcements should come on behind me, but I've set up as if they are. I guess we'll see if they do. No reinforcements have come onto the field quite yet. Our reinforcements have arrived. So we've got some naval stuff, which is nice. Some big naval ships. I mean, not really that it's that important, but we can at least bring them up um, and scout. Where the hell are their reinforcements? Unless their reinforcements came on with them, but I can't imagine that being the case. I guess we will just turn around then. Let's just do a, 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 a quick turn. God, imagine in real life trying to turn your entire army. That would be a, yeah, a, a big old cluster for sure. Um, so I guess we'll just move our navy closer. It's also kind of cool that you can see the, the town in the distance as well. I always like it when you can kind of like, it just adds a bit more life to the battlefield, I think for sure. And let's get our supply ship out of here as well. We don't really need that here. So yeah, I guess we'll rotate our army and then go and look for them. I don't really know where their reinforcements came on though. The battle is getting underway, guys. I've got a small detachment of my navy out here and they're being hammered by some cavalry. I probably should have paid a little bit more attention to them. Uh, but for the most part, I'm sure it's fine distracting their horses. I guess we could send maybe our horses out there uh, to go and help out. Everyone should be running as well. My horses, I think, are a, a little bit stuck. And for some reason, my slingers are out here as well getting uh getting hit for whatever reason i guess we can send out our cavalry over here to help out their formation is still an absolute mess and for whatever reason our infantry none of our infantry are running for whatever reason that's really annoying we lost some men there because i guess i wasn't paying attention but also yeah our formation is just really messed up here like look at this they're like their flags aren't even there with them and stuff for whatever reason and now we're getting hit by cavalry that's annoying okay get stuck in there Cavalry is going to come round, try and like save up this uh, situation. I mean, my entire goal was to use my navy to distract them. Uh, fuck it, you guys go in. What the hell? There's light Persian archers there. Go and kill them, please. I mean, you just got like a lot of peltists and stuff formed up. You guys should be out of there. Um, yeah, for some reason, our infantry is just uh, taking a long time to come in. Did not mean to pop that. I meant to pop that. The general Pomenion should be more than capable of taking care of that. 
The army just needs to reform a little bit because they're, they're a huge mess. Okay, we smashed that. Let's give a cavalry back, please. And then you guys go in against that. Give a cavalry back. Maybe we'll send a lancer right there. The archers are shooting and stuff now, so that's good, I guess. Parmenion should be more than capable of taking care of these guys. Uh, he didn't really need any help, but if he does need help, I will be there to support him. So cavalry charge. I guess we'll send our cavalry on the left flank because that's where they're attacking me of horses. Engage him once again. Yeah, our Korean archers should be okay, and our cavalry can come in and hopefully clean this up. Our own cavalry, yeah, continue to hit them. Infantry can need to move up, then our navy's engaging them, that's perfect. Some lighter infantry there, some lighter infantry there as well. Go and meet up the rest of the boys. I have an archers just continue to move up where the remains of our archers. It's really annoying the way that the, uh, the formation was set up. God, they really don't like my general, do they? Oh well, that cavalry unit will be dead soon, so it's not really anything to have to worry too much about. And our navy's doing such a good job at disrupting them, it really is. Keeping cavalry at bay, keeping infantry there, whilst everyone else moves in. And, you know, it's like, realistically, the navy and stuff can be rebuilt so easily, so that's not an issue. Okay, finally, Parmenion, get your ass over here now. Infantry lines are fully engaged right now. Our pikes are moving in and obviously outclassing our opponents. You can see, see our bronze shield pikemen here. Engaging their weaker units, another unit of pikes getting stuck in against the Persian spearmen. You need to be careful not to break formation too much. We've got some more silver shields coming around. A lot of javelins and missiles as well, just focusing down these uh, big clumps of their men. And as soon as our cavalry does win as well, we can move them elsewhere. Uh, they have got a lot of, like, you know, archers and annoying stuff. Oh, it also seems like we've done an okay job over here. Uh, need to be a little bit careful on this flank, at least. Uh, you guys move in there to help out the javelins. We need this fight to go our way very quickly as well, if we can. But yeah, the infantry is getting demolished. I guess missile-wise, we'll go and focus down some of their, maybe their general. You can come over here and help out. We're about to get rear charged, but not really much we can do about that. I'm really just waiting for this cavalry fight to be over. And we can probably be a little bit more aggressive here as well, just to close them off. You guys don't necessarily need to be in a, in a decent shield. We'll just go and chase down some of the missiles. Peltis get stuck in there. Missiles are going to help out here. And yeah, their lines are just breaking against our superior, you know, skill. Come on, guys, just break this unit of, of horses, please. I need these Pers Persian lines. There we go, perfect. Kill them. I'll take one unit away with me whilst you guys chase them down. Because we do need more cavalry out here. There you go, yeah, we're just breaking them. The Peltis can go and chase down a lot of these units. That's what we can use. Uh, we're wrapping up this corner. Uh, infantry, uh, yeah, finishing them up. And nice, this will be Tyro's basically taken now. The garrison still will be alive, but... Um, yeah, the Peltis can actually be used to chase these guys down as well, which is actually a really good application for them. Oh my god, that unit of uh, dudes got melted. They turned their back and these archers demolished them. That's uh, that's not good. Oh, Cavalry's almost over here. And then, uh, yeah, you guys get your asses over here as well. And now it's just basically chasing down their lines. That's really all that's left. Nice. Just killed their enemy general. Now it's just a kind of a time of cleaning up everything else. You can see a big route going on. Uh, we've got a nice little box envelopment here as well. We've got pikes coming in from every single side of and light infantry from the back. This was a, yeah, a deadly kill trap we'd set up there. Uh, just finishing them off. And then it's just, yeah, what remains over there. A few more archer units that, again, should break fairly quickly. Uh, I do want to maybe chase down a few more men because chasing them down will make the siege a lot less uh, costly. So I might leave some horses out here just to continue to chase down some of their units. This was just a messy battle, though. You know when you have them battles where you just start off really disorganized and it's just an absolute shit show from, from then until the end? This was definitely one of those battles. It was just a complete mess the entire time. Um, and I definitely took way too many casualties. I definitely lost way too many men. But hey, we won at the end of the day, and that's kind of all that matters. Okay, pretty nice setup just to finish off this battle. I've got my soldiers through the gaps, just kind of enveloping them. Got some silver shields here as well to catch them as they try and retreat, uh, and engage them with my lighter peltis on the front line. And then over here, we've also got some cavalry as well, just to come smashing into the back there. 
finishing off and routing these Persian archers, getting some good experience whilst they do that. Um, and yeah, as I said, it's just a matter of time until these break, and then that's going to be the battle right there. So yeah, kind of costly, but uh, you know, a victory nonetheless. Okay, so it was a clean victory at the end of the day. Uh, we did lose a thousand men, but we were fighting a fairly large force. Again, we will just release these and then on our turn... Oh my god, they sallied out. Oh, they're just trying to attack the navy? Why is it so much in their favour? Oh, well, whatever. We'll just, we should just be able to auto-resolve that quite cleanly. Uh, this will be nice. Taking Tyros is a valuable resource because it should cut off all the Persian trade in the Mediterranean. I think this is their only port bordering the Mediterranean, which also means that now our fleets and islands are completely safe, uh, which is perfect. So it's a really good you know, province to take. And yeah, taking away the Persian access to the Mediterranean should reduce their income a decent amount, meaning that their army is going to be less effective. And hopefully, you know, their silk road trade won't be as lucrative uh, you know, as it, you know, trades outwards, so that'd be nice. Obviously, the Silk Road goes, you know, through, you know, into Persia and stuff, but that's not the point. You know what I mean? It's like them taking it from there to the Mediterranean and stuff, so... Oh, there's also an army down here we have to keep a small eye on. Obviously, oh, nice. Natural Philosophers has been done, which is huge. We did just lose a trade agreement with Arch Bosterus. Oh, but he's got taken over. Parmenion leveled up. Perfect. A few rebellions, a few levels up, which is nice. So let's quickly just take Tyros, um... And obviously level up Parmenion as well. Honestly, it wouldn't be a bad idea to take Parmenion and just pick up like... Oh, I didn't mean to do that. And take up these traits like right here just to give us more less Empire maintenance and stuff. I might actually literally do that. I feel like our armies are so good that just taking this on all my generals is just really nice. Even if they're just governors. There we go. But easy fight there. Taking Tyros will be perfect. That will allow us to cut their trade. It will give us die resources to get us more money from trade. And will give us vision of, like, a lot of area, if I'm not mistaken. We should now see... Yeah, we see now a much larger portion. Because we can see this entire sea region now. Uh, meaning our spy can move over into uh, into Egypt. And go and see Alexandria. Uh, even though, is it not... It's uh, not called... That's kind of cool that they change the names and stuff. Obviously, Alexandria, this isn't it yet. Also, the city is making a load of money. Alexandria uh, is a very good city at making money. So we're going to want to use that. Uh, march down. We are at war with them as well, yeah, so um, we'll obviously look to engage them. Uh, oh, nice, this cavalry can level up as well. Perfect. Oh, yeah, we get the extra level up horses. Nice. Oh, yeah, because of the uh, the agriculture building we built. Okay, perfect. Should just be a clean fight here. Yep, should just be clean. Oh, my God, so many casualties. Again, I'll probably end up fighting this off camera because uh, we're coming to an end of the episode, I would say, relatively soon. The question is, though, diplomas, what do we want to do here? I think nine turns for 5% less empire maintenance is too good not to have. Plus the public order, plus the tax rate. So let's uh, let's grab that up, I think. Everything else is like, useful to have, don't get me wrong. There's a lot of really good stuff to pick up, but I just think overall, this is where we want to be. Um, so we'll stick you in there. Can we now tax this region? We probably could, right? Doesn't really give us much money, though. Um, but the region is becoming very happy. Yeah, screw it. We'll, we'll tax it for now. It will obviously build up. And especially once we take that as well, that'll be nice. Yeah, I mean, obviously, once all these buildings are built as well, that'll be good for harbour and stuff. Um, so, yeah, we're slowly starting to tax our provinces again as they become happier and happier, which is, you know, slow, but is definitely happening. We, we didn't rebel here. Interesting. Well, we'll go and take Ptolemy into this uh, place right here. And I guess Alexander... Is going to go a little bit deeper into enemy territory. Um, and I guess looking to take this uh, city right here, right? Engaging the Persian armies. There's 16 there. There's another 9 there. And another smaller force down here. With artillery as well. Interesting. Um, so yeah, Alexander will go in there. Try and take this region, which again has silk, which is really valuable. Um, and we'll continue just to push on the empire. So this episode, I think we've done a good job. We've taken the coastline here, and we're only one province away from taking this. Uh, and when, then once we take this, we can basically just solely push on Egypt. Because we're not at war with any of these guys down here. Oh, interestingly, actually, before we do end the episode, I want to quickly see if these guys can trade with me. No and no. But as soon as we take this, we will be able to trade with them. And you can see the Persian Empire is looking a little bit kind of like shaky, right? They only have all of this. Um, yeah, and we'll, if we take all of that as well, we'll just continue to push our forces. Nice. I think this, this campaign is kind of coming not to a close, but you know, we only probably have about six or seven more episodes, I think, uh, depending on how much they have. 
um, and how long it takes us to continue to push forward. But we're forming Alexander's Empire, and it's becoming very good. So, as I said, guys, at the beginning of the episode, 500 likes, and you'll get yourself another episode, and 1,000 likes, and I'll do a double upload on two days. So, we'll upload one on one day, and then the next day will also be this campaign. So, let me know if you want to see that. Obviously, tune in on Wednesday for the head-to-head. -head. I think that's going to be tomorrow between me and Darren at 4 p.m. Uh, BST, and I'll see you guys in the next one.